Hey guys, it's Cameron here with Emerson Property Management. Every week I bring you tools, tactics, strategies, lessons I've learned, things have helped me build up a sizable run portfolio in about two years and now manage that portfolio. Guys, this week I just want to talk about something that was really exciting, at least for me. I mean, I got an opportunity to speak with Grant Cardone, the Grant Cardone. I really, tr truly did not believe that it was going to be him when we when we got on the call. I thought maybe it would be one one of his top, you know, people in his company or something like that, or maybe somebody doing his marketing. But, you know, people from his office reached out, contacted us, uh, set something up, and he has something that's very interesting uh, that's going to be an opportunity, I think, for some people. Um, I do want to put a big disclaimer, and I just want to talk through this video on what you can expect. We're going to drop that on Friday, uh, that video, but I just want to let you know uh, what to expect and talk through a couple of things of how this would fit in your portfolio. Things I didn't want to take his time up. We got to talk for about 40 minutes and I didn't want to take his time up um, talking about some of these things that I can do in another video. So his, now first and foremost, I am not a financial advisor, right? Do not take any of this as financial advice, right? I want to make sure that I'm abundantly clear on that. He pitches an opportunity that is very interesting, is very appetizing, but you need to do your own due diligence. I may or may not invest. I need to look at some of the financials, go to his website and look at all that and see. Um, but I do think it's a very interesting opportunity. So he's he's pitching basically a syndication that he's involved with, um, something that he put his own money into. So what is a syndication? Let's let's first talk about that. And I've taken some notes here to make sure that we're we're going to stay, uh, that, I, that we cover everything we're talking about. Because this is a very important piece. And as you guys grow, you know, I remember when I first started out, I was buying single family houses, small single family houses, duplexes, triplexes, and quads. Now I'm looking at, could I buy three or four or five houses together, you know, or go into syndications, go in, put money in with people who are buying a hundred unit portfolio or a hundred unit building or a 500 unit building. And Grant is going to offer a syndication type deal. That's what he pitches. So what is a syndication? A syndication is basically when people pool their money together. So you don't have $100 million to buy this complex or this building, nor do I, but you know, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 100,000 people might have the $20 million collectively to put the down payment on it. And a bank finances that. So a syndication is syndicating all this money together. There is a lot of red tape behind it who, whether you have to be accredited or not accredited, an accredited investor makes $200,000 a year over the past two years and is, uh, how do they phrase it, expected to make that in the future. Um, a non-accredited or has a million dollar net worth excluding the, the primary residence, a non-accredited doesn't fit that, fit that criteria. Now there's sophisticated and some other um, jargon in there, but Grant's portfolio or Grant's opportunity that he's talking about is for non-accredited, meaning anybody can get involved in this with as little as a thousand dollars. So I've never heard of anything like this. It's very, very interesting. And you'll hear about it on Friday. He talks about wanting to do this because this is an opportunity he he wished his family was involved with when he was growing up. He wished his mom and dad would have been able to put money into this and get an opportunity as a prime piece of real estate, uh, as a holder, as a, you know, you're holding a small sliver, but you're still holding um, a piece of a prime piece of real estate. So now you know what syndication is. It's basically, you know, you put your money in with a, a group of people. So I want to talk through the pros and the cons. I've got a handful of things written down here. So what are the pros of this? Well, the pros are you're dealing with professionals. So you're not dealing with, you know, when you go out and buy a house, you're dealing with your local property manager, or maybe yourself, you're doing your own property management. These people have huge teams. You know, they have, you know, they're not buying just 100 unit complex or 200 unit complex. You'll hear him talk about how he's buying 300 units over here, 400 units over here, all across the country. These people have tens or hundreds of people working for them. So you're dealing with professionals. You're going to get you know sophisticated financials. You're not going to deal with a property manager that doesn't have the proper licensing or doesn't have you know this or that. These people know what they're doing. They're professionals. They handle things for these bigger complexes. So that's one. You're dealing with professionals. That's a pro. Number two, it's hands off. You have zero time involved. When you go and buy your own property, you have to, or you're trying to do your own deal, you have to go out and find that property. And we talk a little bit about that in, in the episode, but um, you know, 
You're going out and driving for dollars. You're negotiating. You're doing all that. You don't need to do any of that. It's already been done. And for Grant's deal, he just bought into it. You know, he already bought into the deal. So he financed it with a lot of his own money. And now he's looking to, to, to raise some more. So um, you, get, you get this no time involved. Uh, not no time, but you know what I mean? You just put money in. The, the work is being done by all these other people, the syndicators and everybody else. Um, so that's that's really nice for some people, especially if you have a high paying job and you don't want to get out of real estate, you're looking to just put your money into something. This is a great opportunity. The other and probably the most important thing, and Grant talks about this a lot throughout the episode, is access to bigger deals. So you or me can't go and buy a 10, 20, $30 million building. You just can't do it. Uh, and even Grant says that this deal is so big that typically BlackRock, AIG, these huge institutions are the one buying these. So it's not just, you know, you or me or, you know, even a group of investors or local investors can't do this. You're talking about millions, tens of millions of dollars. So this is reserved for like the sophisticated, sophisticated folks. And Grant will talk about how, you know, he put all this money, spent all sorts of money at all sorts of time to put this non-accredited fund together to make it available for everybody. But typically, you don't get this access. So you don't get access to smaller deals, uh, or you can only, you know, you can only get access to deals that you can find, right? Or that you can find on the market or off the market, or maybe from your network. This gives you, you know, syndication gives you an opportunity to get into even bigger deals. And Grant Cardone level syndication gets you an opportunity to get in even crazier deals. So um, those are the three biggest things. Um, and the, uh, there's a couple other things I'll talk about a little bit later, but those are the three biggest pros. Now, so now for the cons, for the downside, and I got an opportunity to ask Grant what the cons are for his deal. Now, these are very similar, but I just want to talk about syndications as a whole. Lack of upside. So we didn't really talk about this, but you know he throws out some numbers on on the returns on on the on his syndication, but typically when you guys are going out and you're door knocking and you're doing the negotiating and you're adding the sweat equity, you're putting in the floors, you're painting the property, you're the one who's going to receive that that upside uh, potential on the property because you put in all that sweat equity. So you'll realize those gains. In, in a syndication, you don't get that. All the syndicators have to get paid. Everybody who's involved is getting paid. So you're not getting a you know, whereas you might have a single family house that you're managing, you'll get that full 20, 30, 40% return, but you don't have it. You only have to feed your mouth. You don't have to feed everybody else. Whereas a syndication might make 20, 30, 40%, but they've got to pay the syndicators. They've got to pay the property managers. They've got to pay everybody else who put it together and all the lawyers and blah, blah, blah. So the return is typically smaller. Now, usually I say, but there are opportunities where you find these these diamonds in the rough or get some AAA class property, which is kind of like what Grant talks about. Well, it is what Grant talks about, his property in, in uh, Fort Lauderdale. So there's typically, the con is you typically uh, don't get as much upside as you would in a single family, but you know you, that's not always true. There are opportunities where you buy into um, a syndication and you have huge upside because you got into a great deal. Something that he talks about, um, another con, is it's illiquid. So this is, I don't care what kind of syndication you're in, you get into a syndication and you, your money's gone. I'm not gone, but you, you put your money in and it's in there for three to five years, seven years, whatever. You have absolutely no say in when you get your money back. And he talks about the, the couple different options to exit that property. But this isn't, this isn't atypical. All syndications are like this. You put your money in, you're leaving the control up to these people, uh, the professionals, and then they'll perf they'll return your money. Supposedly, you know, most syndicators, there are some good and bad, just like everybody, but most syndicators say they're working for the investors. So they're doing it for, for you guys. Um, and this kind of ties into that illiquid pieces. There's no control. So again, how I was talking about, you go out and find your own property. You have the control of the asset. You don't like the paint. You can change it. You want to you wanna change the cabinets out and upgrade this. You can do that. You can't do that on a syndication. You can put your two cents in, but whoever's operating that property, and you're you're relying on them to be the professional, but whoever's operating that, you hope they have the expertise to make those decisions for you. So you don't have any control unless you have a huge portion of it, which typically you don't, or you'd be doing this yourself. So you don't have any control of the asset. You don't know when they're going to sell, when they're going to 
uh, refinance, whatever is going to happen, distributions, this and that, you don't have any control over that. Whereas you can say on your own property, hey, I want the roof, I'm going to replace the roof next year, I'll start saving up some cash. You don't have that luxury. They'll probably tell you that stuff, but again, you just don't have that level of control and not that's not always necessarily a bad thing. I've seen so many people go above and beyond doing stupid things, over improving their property, and they don't need to. You know, they're they're putting the nicest this and the nicest that, and the property's sitting in a B-class neighborhood. So having that professional management or having those professional people around will prevent you from making those stupid mistakes. So how we talked about what a what a syndic syndication is, uh, pros and cons of it. Um, now, how does this fit in your portfolio? As you and me, as normal everyday investors, how does how do syndications fit in fit in your portfolio? So you guys have probably heard about all these, you know, like Robinhood has some some REITs that they have available. There's uh, all these sort of online uh, real estate investment trusts that they offer. I can't even remember the names because I hear them so frequently. I just hear all, all of them. They they promise eight, ten, twelve percent returns. So. Where do these syndications, and that's what they're doing, right? They pull people's money together and they buy assets with them. Where do these fit into your portfolio? That is gonna to be totally up to you and your discretion. If you, when I started, I wanted to put in the sweat equity. I was hitting the pavement, I was negotiating deals, I was going down, meeting with contractors and talking to tenants, leasing the properties. I was doing all that. Now, I'm, I, I don't do as much, right? I've got two people that work for me full time and we're, we're working um, on building a team together so my owners don't have to do that. They hand it over to a property manager. So this is the same thing. You're losing a little bit of control and upside, but you're just putting money at it. You know, you just, you invest. So if you're a professional who doesn't want to leave your day job, you can either buy single family homes all over the country or ever in one area, hand it over to a property manager. You have you know, very little time involved, or you can turn it over and, and buy syndications and get bigger properties, bigger deals, bigger access. Those are kind of the differences. And that's all going to be dependent upon your portfolio, right? So when you own a 300 unit complex, that gives you a little bit more diversity than owning one single family house. I've said this time and time again, it is so much more risky to own one property than it is 5, 10, 15 because you spread your risk out. If you have one property and that property goes vacant, 100% of your rents are gone. If you have 10 and one property goes vacant, that's only 10% of your rents. So when you have 100 or 1,000 units, or like Grant talks about, he's got 12,000 units. I almost insulted him because I said, what do you have, five, 6,000 units? It was I was almost half of what he was talking about, less than half, I was at like a third. So when you have 12,000 units, if you go into one and you get a bad, you know, a couple bad tenants, it doesn't, it hardly is a blip on the, on your overall return. So keep that in mind. And again, just to summarize, so it's totally up to you and your discretion of what you feel is best investment strategy, strategy for you. The last thing I'll say is just how that differs from a normal investment. So we've talked about what a syndication is, pros and cons. You know, you know whether you should get into it or not, it's totally up to your discretion. And a normal investment, guys, you just have so much more control. I've mentioned this throughout this whole, this whole uh, video. You have control if you believe that you have a competitive advantage. I say this all the time. People say, where should I invest? What part of the country? You should invest where you have a competitive advantage. Where you hold a competitive advantage, you can invest. The thing Grant talks about is Grant has that competitive advantage. He knows the contractors. He knows the best property manager. There's people beating down his door. He's got an office, he said, of 40 or 50 people that work for him full time. How can you outdo that? I'll tell you how. The only way you can do that is you go down and start rubbing elbows with your local people um, in the streets, right? On your street. Get to know everybody so well that you can create a competitive advantage or you're a contractor. So you can create a competitive advantage in your street, your market, your area, but you can't compete with Grant Cardone on what he's doing, but you can compete with little local investors, right? You can compete knowing your market. Grant Cardone doesn't know your subdivision. He has no idea what it is, but you can know it. So that means that you can know it better than him. Now, is that good? Do you want to spend a bunch of time learning your market? 
and hitting the pavement and doing that and putting that time involved, that's something that you have to decide. It was my decision, something that I wanted to do because I was young. I was 23, 24 years old, right? I had the time. I put in the time and energy to build that. You can skip that by going into syndications. You can just jump all those learnings and go right into the syndication, let the experts handle it. And again, you can jump it again and go to Grant Cardone, who's been doing it for years, decades. He's invested for, for decades and uh, had some very successful real estate. Something we talk about a little bit, I just want to highlight here, the last piece. We talked about the average return in the country of, for real estate over the past year. You saw 20%, right? Oh my God, real estate's up 20%. It's not 20% everywhere. That doesn't mean all the Midwest cities saw 20% growth. That means that we saw some 30, 40, 50% growth in certain markets, and we saw one, two, three, four, five percent growth in others, maybe even negative growth in some. So those areas that you saw high growth were typically these hot markets like Miami, like some places in California, the Austin, Texas is the world, the Houston, Texas is the Nashville's. Those are the areas that Grant's buying property. Now, I just wanna say again, I don't know if I'm gonna put any money into his deal. I don't know that. But he talks a lot about the advantages of it. It's something you're gonna to have to decide for yourself. I just uh, thought it was a great opportunity to talk to Grant and he was so gracious. I mean, he was just, he's a great guy. We talked a little bit off camera. He's fantastic. We, we spent almost, like I said, almost 40 minutes talking and, um, you know, I really have a lot of respect for the guy. If you want to invest, that's something that you're going to need to decide. Watch the video. He talks a lot about the, his property, the properties in, in, in Fort Lauderdale, um, and make that decision for yourself. Don't let me make that decision. Don't um, let somebody else tell you what to do. If that fits for you, and I think I've explained the pros and cons of syndication and working with Grant and doing that, I, I've explained the pros and cons, but it's got to be you at the end of the day. You have to make the decision. So I hope that was helpful. Guys, this, I'm just so excited. You can tell when you guys watch the video on Friday, I was so nervous because I could not believe it was Grant Cardone. So bear with me. I'll probably get giggly and, and whatnot. I was fanboying a little bit, but it was such a good opportunity. I hope you guys like that video and uh, let me know. Comment below, share if you guys like it. It will really help me out. And um, I'll see you all next week or I'll see you all on Friday with Grant Cardone. Cheers.